same perimeter, different areas. We already know that the perimeter is the distance around a figure. It's measured in linear units or units. Area tells us the number of unit squares needed to fill a flat surface. Can rectangles have the same perimeter but different areas? Let's look at these two rectangles. Let's find the perimeter of rectangle A. We need to add all the sides. The perimeter is 14 units. The area is 6 square units. Now let's take a look at rectangle B and find its perimeter and area. The perimeter is also equal to 14 units, but the area is different. The area is equal to 12 square units. So rectangles can have the same perimeter but different areas. Let's look at an example. A rectangle has a perimeter of 16 units. We need to draw several rectangles with this perimeter, but different areas. To do this, we're going to use geopaper. Let's start with a rectangle with a short side, or width, of one unit. The two pairs of opposite sides of the rectangles have equal lengths. So if we choose one side to be one unit, the opposite side will also have one unit. We need to find the length of the second pair of sides of this rectangle. To do this, we subtract the sum of the two sides, 1 plus 1 equals 2, from the perimeter and we get 14 units. We have a pair of sides, so we need to divide 14 by 2 to get 7. So now we know that this rectangle with a perimeter of 16 has two 1 unit sides and two 7 unit sides. Let's draw it out. We draw 7 units on the horizontal side. We go 1 unit up and then 7 units left. Rectangle A has a perimeter of 16 units and an area of 7 square units. Now let's draw another rectangle with a perimeter of 16 units, but this time let's make the shortest side equal to 2 units. The opposite sides of the rectangle are both equal. To find the length of the horizontal sides, we have to subtract the sum of these two sides from the perimeter. The sum of the two sides is 4. We subtract 4 from 16 to get 12. We have a pair of sides, so we need to divide 12 by 2 to get 6. Now we know that this rectangle has a perimeter of 16 with two 2 unit sides and two 6 unit sides. Let's draw it out. We draw 6 units for the horizontal side go two units up, and then six units to the left. So rectangle B has a perimeter of 16 units and an area of 12 square units. As you can see, rectangle A and B have the same perimeter, but different areas. Now let's draw another rectangle, but this time the shortest side will have three units. Because the shortest side is equal to 3 units, that means that the opposite side will also be 3 units. The sum of the shortest sides, 3 plus 3, is equal to 6. To find the horizontal sides, we subtract 16 minus 6 to get 10. However, we have a pair of sides, so we need to divide 10 by 2 to get 5. 5 is the length of one horizontal side. Let's draw it out. We draw 5 units on the horizontal side, go 3 units up, and then 5 units to the left. So now we have another rectangle, rectangle C, with a perimeter of 16 units, but an area of 15 square units. As you can see, all three rectangles have the same perimeter, but different areas. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.